Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where I simplify SAP concepts for you. I decided to make a video on this topic because I receive a lot of queries from our community members who have extensive experience of working in ECC but haven't got a chance of working in S4 HANA yet. We are going to talk about key changes that we see in SAP SD processes when we move from ECC to S4 HANA. So let's start with the order management first. In ECC, we all are habitual using transaction codes VA01, VA02, VA03 to create, change and display the sales orders. But in S4 HANA, we have moved to Fiori apps which are more user friendly and easier to use. We can search for the app that we want to work on. For example, create order, change order or display order. It will automatically show the relevant app. In the backend, it is mapped to the transaction codes we are already used to VA01, VA02 and VA03. It's just the front end that has changed. If we want, we can always go to the backend in GUI and use these transaction codes if we like to. As a functional consultant, it's just a look and feel that has changed in S4 HANA. The code still remains the same. Now let's move to billing processes. In ECC, we use VF01, VF02 and VF03 for billing. In S4 HANA, we will get a relevant tile for these transactions. For example, if we would like to create an invoice, we will go to Fiori, search for the relevant app or tile to create invoices. Or we can also write in the search bar, create invoices, results would show the relevant app and we can click on it and create the invoice. In the backend GUI, again the transaction code remains the same. We can use VF01, VF02 and VF03 to create, change and display the invoices. Talking about availability check, in ECC we can only use standard ATP check. With S4 HANA, SAP has introduced a functionality called AATP, Advanced Available to Promise. Advanced ATP allows for real-time inventory checks which makes supply chain more responsive and dynamic. Credit management in ECC had a limited integration with FI, often leading to challenges in real-time credit risk analysis. With S4 HANA, FSCM has overcome these shortcomings and provides real-time analytics and holistic view of a credit risk. Coming to outputs, in ECC, we relied on NAST-based output management, which was rigid and less flexible. In S4 HANA, along with NAST, we can also use BRF plus output management systems, which makes it more flexible and personalized. We can define our own rules and conditions on when the output would be triggered. One major change that has come in S4 HANA from master data point of view are business partners. In ECC, we used to have separate master data for customers, vendors, etc. In S4 HANA, they come under unified business partner approach. We do not need to create separate master data for them now as they come under single business partner with different roles assigned to them such as sales, purchases, etc. Talking about data structures, ECC uses traditional tables and indexes which can slow down the system performance especially when we are working with large data sets. In S4 HANA with unified data approach, the system performance has increased drastically allowing for real-time processing. These are the key differences that we see in SD processes when we move from ECC to S4 HANA. If you would ask me as a functional consultant, there is not a major change. If you know how to work in ECC, working in S4 HANA would be a cakewalk. It's just a mindset. There is no need to be afraid of if you haven't worked in S4 HANA but are proficient in ECC. I will put it in this perspective. Let's assume you own a sedan and you are expert in driving it. Now you are upgrading your car to SUV. Would you need to relearn driving again? No, right? Similar is the case when we move to S4 HANA. SAP has made working in S4 HANA easier, not difficult. So there is nothing to be afraid of. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do not forget to check out my ebooks on SAP basics. They are not specific to any one module but covers SAP topics in general. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.